92.3 WTTS. This Saturday is one of my favorite days of the year. It is a, uh, it's a glorious day. It's record store day. And there are so many, t- I feel like the list of exclusive titles for record store day just grows and grows every year. And uh, I am happy to once again be joined by Andy Skinner of Indie CD and Vinyl. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on again. Uh, it's so great to have you come in. And am I right about that? Does the list grow every year? I, I feel like it does. Uh, it, it either stays the same size or it grows. But what, what does grow are the quality of titles, where we're really starting to get into territory and genres uh, where I feel like everybody really gets a taste of something Mm -hmm. with these releases. And Mm -hmm. they're only available this one day a year at independent retail. So they they make you jump through hoops to try and get this cool stuff. But boy, there is some cool stuff. I am always fascinated. I, I wonder what you have to do to make the choices that you make for Record Store Day. Because you have one of the bigger stores in town, but it's still a limited space. And when I'm looking at all these titles and knowing that you have most of them, if not all of these exclusive Record Store Day titles available this year, where in the hell do you put them? Um, I wish we had an extension up on the roof. Everybody could like, you know, (laughs) just climb the stairs and go through the lines up there. But unfortunately, no, you're right. We are space limited, but we have a system. We set it up where after we check in all the, like, you know, these thousands of records that we will sell through over the weekend, Mm -hmm. we alphabetize everything. And we have just the way that it's set up, like kind of like right inside our front door. Everybody gets to touch them, smell them, feel them as they come through the store and decide whether or not they want them. You know, because mm. even for me, where, where I'm looking at a list ahead of time, I'm thinking, boy, I'd really want this one thing, but I'm not so interested in this other thing. And then they arrive and I see the thing that I wasn't really interested in and I hold it. And I can't go home without it. So, so I, I, I like giving the experience where everybody gets to look at these records. And the problem solves itself by the end of the weekend. Everything yeah. you know goes back to, to normal because we've, we've moved the product out. But you're not, you're not wrong. The mental picture you have is, is wild just because <laughs> we get so much product. But it's fun. And am I right in assuming that, I mean, if you have heard about a Record Store Day exclusive, you're going to find it at Indie CD and Vinyl this weekend? Uh, yeah, within reason. Um, we order... If it's not all sold out. Exactly, if it's not all sold out. Because, I mean, you have to consider there's about 1,300 independent record stores in the United States. Mm. Every single one of these records is available to order by these 1,300 stores. Uh, we order everything, and we order everything in large quantity because mm. we want we want Hoosiers, we want our people to get the things that they want. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just, what if the company only made a thousand of them? Yeah, you know, and then everybody ordered one. Well, that means that a thousand stores get one, and three hundred stores get none of yeah. of, of something. Right. So uh, my example is uh, there's a Macho Man Randy Savage release. <laughs> <laughs> really? That I am personally really excited about, oh, right but on. they made 750 of them. We got one, uh, you know. Now, did I order? You keeping that? I I am not. I am okay. fair. Okay. I am fair. Um, but but that's just an example, yeah. right? And then uh, on the flip, you know, there's this Taylor Swift release where in previous years, when Tay Tay has put out something, it's been like only a thousand, and yeah. it's been exactly that fight. Of like, well, who gets it? Mm-hmm. Um, but this year, you know, there's 75,000 copies of this release of Taylor Swift. When I mean, think about that, though. Like, to me, at first, I'm thrilled that there's 75,000 copies getting shared between 1,300 stores. But for the amount of Swifties out there, like, that's nothing. Yeah. That's really nothing. And so the scarcity is another thing about the excitement of, ooh, you know, I'm going to line up. I'm going to freaking camp out overnight. Am I going to get the Macho Man uh, or not? <laughs> the Fingers one. crossed, right? Oh, and so, uh, so yes, uh, back to your original question. Yeah, we order everything in large quantities. Uh, whether we get as many as we order is another thing entirely, completely out of our hands. But again, that's part of the magic. That's part of the excitement. Mm. Now, in addition to the Record Store Day exclusives, I understand you have come across a large collection of rare stuff as well, That some of which might be on offer this weekend as well. In all my years, 
either in the game selling records or even just being a collector myself from from a young age i've never seen anything quite like this um really yes shop co-owner my wife annie has been at our warehouse uh working really hard to price and process clean bag and get ready for record store day this this specific collection of used records that it's just it's better than anything i've ever seen ever it's uh Basically, any band that you've ever liked in the 80s and 90s, it's the first press of each one of these albums. Vinyl? It's the, yes, on, on vinyl. Yeah, it's a... That wasn't a big time for vinyl. It wasn't. The Especially 90s, the 90s. You know, yeah. So uh, here's a good example. You know, the the first... Nir, you know, or Nirvana Nevermind, right? Yeah, when, yeah. when you and I got into Nirvana Nevermind and we went out and got it, I, I got it on cassette tape. You maybe picked it up on CD. I yeah, mean, because that's yeah. how it was available, right? There was yeah. no streaming. At the time, it wasn't getting a lot of radio airplay. Like, we went, picked it up, CD or cassette. Yes, they pressed it to vinyl in the 90s, but it wasn't. In, it was only one press, and it was in a very small quantity, mm -hmm. right? Um, the fact that Nirvana were on Sub Pop at least helped that, right? And so, guess what? We've got a first press in Nirvana. Never mind. And really? It's, and yes, it's it's. But and that's just one example of <laughs> these are records that I've never seen. You know, as as vinyl. As, as, yeah, as, as vinyl, vinyl because, records. You know, first presses and mobile fidelity direct metal mastering versions. Wow. Um, just really insane stuff. And and so what Annie has been doing is she's been pricing and processing these things to drop also on record store day. So if you're into music and you want one of these, you know, rare limited new releases, we've got you. Or if you're into music and you're a collector and you want something that you've literally never seen in the wild before, we've got you. Wow. Um, if you're a Swifty and you've never been to an independent record store before, <laughs> we've also got you. We've got, you go. we've got a whole bunch of these Taylor Swift records. So it, we're just celebrating, you know, the idea that, if you listen to terrestrial radio and you buy physical product, that is the best way to support the artists that you love, mm. right? The music is yours. The money stays in the community and goes directly to the artist. And you have this thing that you can keep forever that is meaningful. And we have something for everybody this weekend. I can definitely appreciate that sentiment and your perspective. Andy Skinner from Indie CD and Vinyl with all of the Record Store Day exclusives available this weekend and a huge collection of very rare stuff also on offer that is going to only be sold in the store this weekend and then you'll put it online to be sold? Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, it, exactly right. So with the internet, there's obviously a global market, but one of the things that we're doing about these records is they're only going to be available in the shop at first. Okay. Right? So that people locally are loyal shoppers, locals, Hoosiers, et cetera, people who, who come to the shop, they're going to get first crack. And then, you know, whatever doesn't sell organically through the shop will then eventually be made available online. Andy Skinner, Indy CD and Vinyl, open at 8 a.m. Record Store Day Saturday, right? Can't wait to see you. All right. Thank you, Andy. Thank you.